Hotel opened in November 2015, so we've been open for a year and a half. Fully completed in August 2016. The resident was quite happy to have a hotel finally in Kenya, because we're obviously the first uh, Redis and Blue in Kenya itself. You know, the area where we are is a business district, so we also need to look business-like. Our core business is business individuals and business groups. The architect was a Danish person who also took a bit from his knowledge and his experience in the Nordics to bring a lot of light and wood and so on and so forth into the building. People know what to expect from a brand like Redis and Blue. People that come from Europe, for instance, to this hotel, they would say, yes, this hotel can be anywhere in Europe as well, because of the outlook and the light and the vibrancy. Uh, but then people who are local, they say they see these finishing touches of, yes, the artwork is, is Kenyan, it's purely Kenyan. We can see this in somebody's home, for instance. So this is basically the marriage that we had. We've had a company with our Nordic sister institutions. We have provided mezzanine funding for reds and blue managed hotels in Africa. So we have provided loans to this hotel and a hotel in Ethiopia and in Mali as well earlier. This is a very good example of a company well rooted in the Nordic and Norwegian. It's a very successful role they can take because it's both the products, it's the design and it's the values which they take with them, which is very important. We have a program which is called the Responsible Business Program, which has three pillars. It goes about think planet, think people, and then also just think environment. In the bathrooms, for instance, you have the Just a Drop initiative, which is money that we get if people reuse their towels. And that money gets reinvested actually here in Kenya, which then also helps the local community, because what does Just a Drop do, for instance? They ensure that in remote areas, water is available. We're using the solar to heat our water and obviously water in a hotel is quite important. You can imagine how many liters of water we go through. Uh, so, so that is a big chunk. If that would go on to your electricity bill, it would be quite a big increase. We have currently 293 employees. Uh, we have four expatriates. 93% of our rolling supplies come from the local market. We go to a supplier who goes to the market, picks up the different things from the different farmers and then brings it to the hotel. So that then also helps the farmers. As a company, one of our code of ethics is basically to ensure that we, we follow that trace and see where these things are going. If I pay you a thousand shillings, how much is going down to the producer? We have a specialty restaurant which is called Chop House, which is a fine dining experience from both food and service perspective. We have an all-day dining, uh, which is our larger restaurant, where you have the super breakfast that we, we serve and um, the lunches and dinners. Now, the business room comes with a business lounge access. You can compare it to an airport lounge. However, it's, it's a bit more refined and obviously a bit more personalized uh, than uh, you would find in an airport. It, it's basically a place where people can just relax and wind after a busy day with a glass of wine, have some snacks, and that all comes included if you are buying a business room.